everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today is day 11 of Vlogmas. I always have to look at my watch to see what day it is or what the date is to know what day we're on. So today I'm bringing you a grocery haul and I've got a little bit of bonus footage of an outing that we did later. So I'll make sure to include that. So I went to Walmart and did a Walmart grocery pickup and pretty sure I got most everything that I needed. So I'm gonna turn you around. I'm gonna show you what I picked up at the grocery store and we're gonna talk about what we're gonna do with some of the items that I have. I'm not sure if I'm going to include points. I may include the points of the things that I know, but I wanna just get this filmed really quick for you and be able to share this out and just give you some ideas of some name brand items you should look for in your grocery store. So with that said, I'm going to turn the camera around and let's get started. All right, we're gonna start off with some produce. And I got some Hearts of Romaine. And the last time I got these, they were really small. This time I got them, they were really big. So I wanted to get two to make sure that I had enough. And now I think I'm going to either have to have rice bowls or have some salads every single day. So I'm gonna have to be, you know, be, be super creative on how I use those up this week. I have some shredded iceberg lettuce and I got those because I do want to do some taco bowls and my husband prefers the iceberg um, in his bowls. So I got that. I picked up some tomatoes. I have some tomatoes for salad. I have some tomatoes for some bowls. Um, I like these Roma tomatoes. Um, I just think that they're heartier. And then I got one slicing tomato because of the fact that we need those for um, one of our dinners this week. I got a couple of red onions and some zucchini and I have some peppers. And those are going to be for the veggie mix that um, Nikki, um, over on Nikki Gets Fit channel. She does a veggie mix that she adds to all of her food or a lot of her foods during the week. So I thought I would give that a try this week and see how it went. So uh, stay tuned, I'll show you how she prepares that. I picked up some sliced mushrooms just because I like mushrooms and I figured I could add that in and it would be another veggie that I could add into my meals this week. I got a second thing of peppers for dinners and I picked up some bananas. So that is my produce pile for this week. Um, stay, hang tight and I'll show you. We actually got a lot of meat this week, so I'll show you that next. For our meat this week, I'll start off here. Um, I picked up a turkey breast, turkey breast tenderloin and I plan on... Um, it says there's actually two turkey breasts in each pack, but I'm going to go ahead and throw this into my crock pot or my air fryer this week and just make a super easy dinner. So turkey tenderloin for one dinner. And then I picked up two packages of this 99% lean ground turkey breast, and I'm going to use that for tacos. I'm going to use it for maybe I'm gonna try some a new recipe. So if not, I'm gonna throw one in the freezer and have one for now, but I'm definitely going to use at least one of those in my dinners this week. Picked up a package, a huge package of hickory smoked bacon. This is two points per slice, four points for two slices. Uh, I didn't get the center cut. Um, I don't know what I was thinking, but I'm gonna freeze half this and probably freeze more than half, but I'll probably put this into some freezer packaging and so that I could make this into several meals. They were having it. I think this one was on special this week is why I bought this. Um, zero points for this, zero points for this, two points for one slice for this. I picked up a huge package of chicken breast. Um, it's five point, it's like five pounds. It's a five pound package of chicken breast there. So I'm going to be um, grilling that or um, put it in my air fryer because I'm going to use that in part of my lunch, probably most of my lunches this week. So I want to go ahead and make sure I have a ton of chicken breast grilled up. I picked up this package of turkey breast and this is two points per serving, I think. Might be one point. Anyway, this one's low in points. So I picked this up because we're going to use that with the 
bacon. Ooh, it's going to be um, a tough video. So I'm going to have club sandwiches this week for one of our dinners. So I have the turkey breast and the bacon for that. And then I picked up a package of hard salami for my husband's lunches. And that is our meat. So I will take you um, and show you what other items I picked up as well. All right, so back to the turkey breast. It is one point per serving. So each serving is two ounces. So that's a pretty good size serving for one point. So I just wanted to come back to that before I forgot. I picked up these large carb labanderita carb counter tortillas. I'm going to make some wraps with these. And uh, this is two points per wrap. I also grabbed some of these thin, the extra thin yellow corn tortillas. This is three points per three tortillas. And I plan on making some homemade um, tortilla chips with those. So stay tuned. Um, I might film that for you and just show you how quick and easy those are. I haven't made those in a while. For our sandwiches this week, I picked up some of this hillbilly bread, and this is two points for one slice or three points for two slices. Picked up my favorite jasmine brown rice. I tried to buy a five pound bag of this jasmine rice, but they were out, so I picked up two two pound bags. And this is by far my favorite brown rice. I mean, by far. It is so good. It is four points for three quarter cup serving. And just, if you haven't tried it, try it. I just try it. I, I'm telling you, I'm not going to steer you wrong on this one. This, again, my favorite. It smells so good when it's cooking. And the flavor is so much better than normal brown rice. So give that a try. And then I picked up some bread flour and I'm planning on trying out a new recipe. So stay tuned for that because I needed some bread flour for that. And that's not sort of something that I normally keep. Anytime I find a recipe for bread flour, I always pick up just all purpose flour and just use that. But um, this is going to be, I'm um, hoping a game changer for some of my, not only my bread recipes, but for some new recipes that I have coming up. All right, we're in the home stretch now. I'll show you what's up next. Okay, next up I have some pop chips. You can get 20 chips for four points. These are so good, they're hard to find, but when I find them, I always pick up a bag. So one of my um, more favorite chips, and um, on that note, my granddaughter loves them. So anytime I have them, they don't stick around long. All right, I have some fat-free cheddar, and I'm going to use this for some of my wraps. I'd like to try to look for some low-fat cheddar. I'm going to start my hunt on that. This, this fat-free is not my favorite, but it works in a pinch, so I don't mind having it. I also picked up some of these Lando Lakes Butter Balls. My daughter says these are amazing. It's six points per tablespoon. But I figured that might be quick and easy, um, very quick for measuring. Plus, um, my granddaughter has been coming over a little bit so she could use these in her mac and cheese. It'd be really, really simple for her to just pull out a ball or two and throw them in. Which brings us to the ramen noodles. If you have children or, gran or grandchildren or teenagers in your house, you know these are a staple. So I picked those up for her. I also grabbed some sugar-free French vanilla coffee creamer. I picked up two new things that I've never used before. Um, I picked up this Swerve, and this Swerve is a brown sugar replacement. And I'm going to give this a try in um, my banana bread. So I had seen Nikki on Nikki Gets Fit use this in her banana bread, and it really cut down on the points. So I thought maybe I'll try that, you know, during the holidays and see if that if, if I like it and if it's something I need to start stocking in my kitchen. I also grabbed some Lily's sugar-free baking chips, um, and these are the white chocolate, so I thought these would be fun to use in my overnight oats. So stay tuned on my review on those. And then I just found out that this Pure Protein protein Shakes, the vanilla, is only one point. Yep, I said it, one point. So I thought these would be great for my iced coffee, and I wanted to give them a try to see if I like these as much as I like the Quest or the um, the Premier Proteins. So I'm going to give those a try. All right, so I've got all these things here. Um, you see, I've just been piling things over here on my side, so I'm going to get these put in my fridge. But stay tuned for that footage 
from my outing earlier. And with that said, um, I'm going to just sign off after that footage post. So thanks for watching and we will, I'm sure, see you next video. What happens when you wait around until the end of the year to get your tree? <laughs> it kind of gets to be slim pickings, but we found the perfect tree. So I am going to go in, let my husband pay for the tree, and then I will show you later once we start setting up. So again, happy Vlogmas.